here we go. Don't worry about it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Don't worry about it. Brown girl friendly sunscreens are really hard to come by. Well, I have someone who is an expert in brown girl friendly makeup and skincare and hair care, all of the things. Monica, can you please tell me a little bit about some of the struggles you've had finding skincare, makeup, and specifically sunscreen for your skin tone? Yes. So growing up, I was a water polo player and a swimmer, and I really struggled to find any sunscreens that work for me. Like I know I'm like a medium dark shade right now, but growing up I had really dark skin because I would tan from swimming and water polo. So there was literally no sunscreen that, uh, back then, like 10 years ago, that had like basically no white cast other than like the banana bow and all that which would break that me out. That had no white cast? Yeah, because they had those used chemical filters. Like oh. I was using body sunscreen, it was hilarious. My tactic was to use baby's body sunscreen on my face because it was fragrance free and it was chemical, but back then they didn't really have as much. And then Neutrogena released this water gel formula, but then it broke me out because it had tons of chemicals and, and fragrance. So I didn't have, I maybe had two options growing up, but honestly, it makes me so happy now that th that the, the sunscreen industry is completely transformed. I do like chemical sunscreens, even though like there's a lot of debate whether like we should use it or not. I think anyone who says there's a problem with chemical sunscreens has not done enough research, A, and B, also is probably a white person, unfortunately. Like, I'm sorry, like, I, I think putting on a sunscreen is better than wearing nothing, no matter what Agreed, but you also wanna find something that yeah. works. And now there's so many options, like Cassandra some of and these. I have like, I mean, I've never tried here. some of these before over here. Monica, what do you look for in a sunscreen to make it brown girl friendly? Mm -hmm. What are some of like those key things you look out for? So, I mean, the one thing I, I look for is like, what are the filters being used? I know there's a couple of different ones, even like I can read it off here from Black Girl Sunscreen, which is really popular amongst the Bipios community, but avobenzene, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. Octocrylene, yes, yes. Yeah. great job. And, like I usually kind of look for the chemical filters, honestly, and what, and, and what percentage they're at. Honestly, I need to touch it. I can't just look mm. at a sunscreen and be like, that's gonna work. Cause there actually are times where like I have put some sunscreens on that have the chemical filters that still do leave a white cast. Yeah. I don't know why. I mean, usually I would say it's a 60, 40 shot. Like 60% mm -hmm. it's gonna work, 40% maybe not. Like there are some sunscreens that have tried that do leave a slight hint of a white bit. cast. I mean, it's really hard to find a mineral sunscreen without a white cast. So difficult. Really and as hard. someone who's a, you know, white chick basically, <laughs> uh, literally, because especially with my genetics and ethnicity, it's like, I grew up always looking for minerals because I was told that mineral sunscreens are better and yeah. better for acne and they're safer and they're clean. And then because of my skin tone, I would rub them in. I'm like, oh, I could rub them in enough to make them paint, like paint <laughs> free. Oh no. Right no. lady. So out of these, mm -hmm. you mentioned that you like actually testing them is so important. Which ones have you tried and which ones have you not tried? All right, so I've tried all these four here. I've not tried, I've tried one of Black Girl Sunscreen, mm -hmm. but yeah, that one, but I've not tried on these three. I've never seen these before. Okay, so I would love to get your first impressions. I mm -hmm. have one that is chemical, mm -hmm. one that is a sunscreen stick, mm -hmm. and one that is a hybrid. hybrid I don't yeah. think I have a full mineral one except for this cocoa kind. Yeah, my only issue with the hybrid sunscreens that I've yeah. noticed is they tend to pill. Can I, I get your you, opinion on this? Yeah, I'm, it might not, but like I've noticed, at least for me, maybe my skin's like oily, dry, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the only one that I've yet to like see that doesn't pill so much maybe is like the Coco Kind has a silk SPF. So but even then, if I layer the wrong products over it, it will pill. Okay, interesting. I don't know why. Maybe it's my skin type, but that's my only issue with hybrid sunscreens. Well, let's see about this one. I actually don't know if this one pills or not. Um, this is the Blue Lizard SPF 50. What's really amazing is that the cap is UV sensitive. Oh. So if you're at the beach, it changes color when it's- Wait, that's yeah, so cool. When it's um, time yes. to reapply. So you shake this one. Yeah, um, and I like how big it is. Yeah, it's for face and body. I would use this for body. It's the Sports Smart Bottle technology. But like, I want your honest opinion. Right. Like, what do you look Let's for? Let's see Maybe... if it's brown girl proof. You want to try it on your arm? <laughs> this is like a body one. Do you want to try it on the body? You want on the Yeah, face? we can try it on the body. Let's try it on the body. Okay. I have. I, I'm a little worried because it is my it might body, be terrible. My I'm not terrible. My body is like five shades dark, couple shades darker than my face. Yeah. That's why I don't think anything you've noticed that. So you know, this is octisalate 5%, titanium dioxide 5.36, and zinc oxide 10%. Yeah, girl, that's turning oh, purple. No. Oh no. I'm getting triggered. But do you see how even for me it leaves a little bit of a cast, but like I can get away with it for you. Yeah, it's so it's difficult. Getting, it looks purple. Oh my God, I'm getting a reminding of my oh no. 
Well, my favorite body sunscreens, it's the Everyday Humans SPF 50. This one is chemical, it's fully chemical. It's, yeah, this difference. one feels like you're putting on lotion. Like it doesn't, mm -hmm. it smells like really natural. There's not like much fragrance, but it's literally like, I'm gonna put, we put on like a lot. So I'm gonna put that much and then, oh, you wanna feel something? Can I just try it? Yeah, 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 of just course. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, it smells nice. It's burning my nose, whoops. <gasps> that's even more but moisturizing. It's, it oh, feels super nice. It like blends in seconds. Like even Chris, my, my boyfriend, he hates wearing sunscreen. He asks for this one. It's not like greasy. It just feels like you're rubbing in body lotion. Look at the difference too. <laughs> like honestly, yeah. Yeah. I'll buy this for the cap, but this is not brown girl approved. That's okay, that's okay, but it works for you. I but. know, but it's important to, to you know, to give them a check. <gasps> Isn't wow. that nice? And cucumber and it's green affordable tea, affordable hyaluronic too. acid. Yeah, wow. and this, that one's a Target brand. Wow. Yeah, I really like it. And they also have a mineral face sunscreen that's slightly tinted that works for olive skin tones. Yeah. I'm just looking, I can see the literal streaks. Yeah. Here, let me get this close up. I'm trying to like blend it in more I just, too. I, I can, and again, like it just, it, it is a fact of things. Like it can't, you can't even yeah. see where. <laughs> Even on me a little bit. Oh, this one's kind of greasy This one's too. so good. The Cumin's ones is great. Yeah, isn't that one nice? I that one's my favorite. That. Yeah, I I love it. it. I wear that to the. I think it's like something water, a little bit water resistant. Yeah, 40, 80 minutes water resistant. Here, let's just. Yeah. No, it's fine. Sorry, <laughs> girl. Hey, Keep at least protected. now we know. You know the dirty black rag. <laughs> hey, you know <laughs> it, it does its job. Um, out of the face ones, which ones have you tried that you know and love? Like what was okay. what? Yeah. I tried these. Five. I'm not yeah. trying these two, okay. but honestly, your sunscreen, you freaking killed it. Like, if you have not tried, I mean, I'm sure everyone follows. Oh has, I mean, if once this becomes available, if it, if and when, like, I do my. It's supposed to restock soon. It's so good. I'm it so feels good. like lightweight and it's affordable and it's not greasy. And I freaking love this one. So you absolutely killed it. Thank um, you. And we tried really hard to make sure it worked for all skin tones. Yeah. And what's crazy is that it's purple. It blends in. Like, I honestly was doubtful at first because I was like, the last time I tried a Korean sunscreen, it was awful. But this one, it just feels so nice, no white cast. There's no fragrance too, right? All yeah. fragrance free. It's, it is really nice. Amazing. So I really like it. Actually, should we? Should I? Should I talk about like a good mineral sunscreen? Yeah. Do you the have Hero, a good mineral? The Hero Cosmetics one right here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just because. Tell me about that. So I mean, I like this one too, but I actually think this is a fraud. Which I think, um, I think the ones that are like only 10, this one's only 9% zinc. This is the Summer Fridays SPF, like mineral milk sunscreen. It's SPF 30 and it's got only 9% zinc oxide. And I heard it's, they can claim it as SPF 30 because they have an ingredient called butyl, but, yeah, that one, something which kind yep. of, which is chemical. At that point, it's just a hybrid, right? So it can be considered that. It depends because like the US has such old archaic sunscreen laws mm. that like, Technically, a lot of the Korean sunscreen that we get are technically like contraband yeah. because they're not filters that are yeah, approved, approved here. in the US. Yeah. And there are some that are sunscreen filters or just boosters. Like, fun fact this is actually, we tested it and under UV, it came back closer to 49 and 50. Mm. But we didn't mm -hmm. want to overstate yeah. it. And because mm -hmm. it wasn't 100% at 50 yeah. all the time, we we're like, it's definitely no, 40. But a lot mm. of brands do that. So maybe this is you know, 30, 35. This could have been something else, but they're yeah. just saying that it is XYZ. But I don't think there's anything wrong with adding a physical But is it filters, hybrid? Yeah. But I just, I, for me, it's marketing because I'm on the Sephora squad now. I mm -hmm. like saw like one of the founders talk about their sunscreens oh. and how she used it during uh, pregnancy mm -hmm. because it's completely mineral. Well, butylene glycol, it's a booster, but would it be considered a sun filter? I don't know. I mean, I've heard like a couple of people say that it can be, and it is. Yeah, no Same problem here. with the Good Molecules one. Is it really? They advertise it as purely mineral, but it has that chemical filter. Interesting. Yeah, I would have to look into this. This one was the one where that problem came to light. This wow, because this, this is one. one of the best mineral ones that I know of. Yeah, because it yeah and really it's affordable. It's like 10 bucks. 10 bucks. But if truly mineral, this is 17.53% zinc oxide. <gasps> This one, and it's the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield Super Beam Sunscreen. It's the orange one. I, it they also have like a green. Cupcakes. It smells good. So it smells good. good. And they have so a green one for pale skin. And this is it has like more of an orange tint, so it kind of like rubs in a little bit better on deeper skin tones. And 
it can counteract some of the hyperpigmentation that I have. It has apricot it pigments, so, so like based on color theory, like a lot of the hyperpigmentation has like blue, uh, purpley undertones. It's a cooler undertone and like a warmer shade, like orange and like salmon colored things can kind of counteract that hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's really sheer. It's not gonna be like enough to like fully color correct, but it's really subtle. Where if I just want something that's like slightly evens out my skin tone, also feels really nice and doesn't leave a white cast, this is the mineral sunscreen I use. This is amazing. Yeah, I had never tried this until she introduced it to me and I've given it a swatch today. Yeah. Amazing. So question, you've tried this one, but you haven't tried this one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I try that love one. these. Do you want to try these? Yeah. Do you remember that one day that I met you and Jazz actually? I saw both of them mm -hmm. at an event and I get asked them to guess which side of my face was matte versus the other one. These are the two that I was wearing. Oh. Try this one since you haven't tried it. What do you think of this one? You don't like this one on combo which one skin? Is this one. This is the um, make it matte, uh, this one, the SP. I don't I, mine's rubbed off. My issue is my I Be honest, I, yeah. Because I have combination skin, this area is oily and and then this air is dry. Like it's actually like the literally the worst of both worlds. So this is actually, in my opinion, a dupe for the unseen sunscreen. The super goop. Yeah, the yeah. super goop. It's actually, I think, a little bit more uh, slick than the super goop, I would say. I, have I super find it to be there. more mattifying. And for my oily skin, I love yeah. it. But you're right, for combo skin, it's like, it's not it gonna work be, for you. So it clung a little bit to my dry patches, like right here. Mm. And I just think like, I mean, like even yours is made for oily skin. And I feel like it did a better job at like, mm. Maybe it wasn't as mattifying, you know, but. Yeah, no, I appreciate yeah. the honesty. Try this one. So this is interesting because again, it's black girl sunscreen, but it comes out white. Mm -hmm. Like tell me what you look for because this is one that was made yeah. for black girls. So a lot of people don't know, you need a lot of sunscreen. And every time I make sunscreen videos, people always come for me in the comment. Whenever I say like this sunscreen is a white cast or it fills or whatever it is, they always say that I use too much. And I'm like, no, you literally need this much so sunscreen. Much. Yeah. That's also why I'm always recommending sunscreens that are affordable because we're, especially when you need to use this much and we need to reapply it like at least two, yeah. two or three times a day, you need a lot. I agree. So tell me like what you look for in this one because it takes a minute for me to rub it in. Yeah. And again, on my skin, I love it. And the girl who made it, her name's Shantae Lundae. I freaking love her. So my personal preference is I just think there's so many sunscreens out there that I probably would not use this one on my face because it just, this overall sensory experience is not that great. Okay. It feels like I'm putting glue on. I don't love the oh, texture. Yeah. And it smells gross, but uh, I like that it's affordable. It is slightly stinging my skin right now. Is it? Oh no. I don't know why. Yeah, that could, like, honestly, it could be the sunscreen feel. But look at that. On me, I'm able to get it to rub in so easily. But is that one a, is that, is this? It's the same one. Oh, it's the same one. Yeah, I mean, maybe I just rubbed it in. I, I do bigger swoops like this. I go like this. But honestly, it also goes to show that like, yeah. just because it works for one person or just because it doesn't sting my skin doesn't mean that it won't sting yours. But it feels like glue. Yeah, this yeah. is like, yeah. I, I just feel like there's other, I mean, like back in the days, like if this rubs clear, I would have loved this. But like, yeah. I and it is waterproof, which I like. From like a competitive, like, like, there are just a lot of brands out there that do it better. I'm gonna put it that way. Yeah, I fully feel it. Like it's sticking to my kind of, mm. isn't it sticky for you? A little bit, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> how, how, do you, how do you feel about this one compared to this one from the same brand? I like this one more. I would use do this you? on my body. Oh. I would use this one on my body. I don't actually hate this one. I don't mind it. If I'm really oily, like on the sweaty ass days, like this is great. I actually feel like the makeup doesn't apply the most amazing over this. Mm. But it might also be because of my skin type. Makes so, sense. But, but you this say, like, I'm like, able to get it in. This is really but... sticky. I know it got on, it got on, I think, I think it rubbed in for me too, but I look like a grease ball. Yeah. And that's the whole thing about this is that it has like a whole bunch of oil. Yeah. It's giving greasy. It's giving, <laughs> it's giving hydration. It's giving oh, grease yes. glow. Let's wipe this off and let's try the sun stick. Show me, so this one is a bioma. It has some of the same filters. There is a different one. Let me see what we have. I really like how, A, how transparent these are. For like the average person, people don't understand these ingredients. Like I, she said phenol. I don't even know what I was, I usually look for, yeah. I usually look for something, alcohol or like benzyl something or, or ISO, whatever. And that's actually like decent knowledge in my opinion. Like mm -hmm. most people don't even know what, why their skin's burning. 
but this one actually tells you exactly what it is for. Uh, you can actually like see like what each thing is doing, like UV filter, UV filter, carrier, humectant, thickener, surface, skin conditioner, and the entire brand does that too. Wow. And it's pretty affordable. I think that one's like $15, yeah, $16. Yeah, this is a really good brand. I get them at Target. Yeah. There's no phenoxyethanol in here. Can we, can I try this one? Yeah, that one, it wanna... feels like a gel. That's why I really like this one. This one feels use... like a gel. Oh, yeah. You might not like this because you have oily skin, but I like it when my skin's really dry. And it the, goes on, it rubs in a lot. It's faster. like really thin. It, in my opinion, this is the closest uh, US sunscreen I found that feels like a Korean sunscreen. Wow, like, I, mean, I mean, it's super soft, yeah. yeah. Where it like, the experience is nice. It doesn't smell terrible. Like it blends in super nice. It kind of reminds me of the Bior A watery gel, if you know what I'm wow. talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it's a cruelty-free one because Biore isn't. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, so this, this reminds me. Approved. Yeah, this one, I love this. I'm almost done with it. My only issue with this brand is that actually the packaging, I find their packaging really wasteful. Like everything is in a square compartment, but then it's got like this round pump. If you look at some of their other formulas, it's the same. It's like this extra packaging extra, and it's like, that's not necessary, but... I mean, I understand they want to be cute, but it's I also, I think it also could be that like, in a circular packaging, Yeah, it's yeah. like, it takes up more space because when you have these gaps in between, square packaging could have those gaps side by side so it fits better in a box. That's the thing, that's what I thought, but actually I no, think the inside circle. is like a circle. That's actually what Love someone else, egg. I learned that too. We should pull it apart when you're done with it. Yeah, no, I, yeah, that's, I'll take yeah. tweezers to it. <laughs> um, This one is a Korean sun stick. What do you look for in sun sticks to make sure they're brown girl friendly? Oh. Honestly, like I'm not the biggest fan of sun sticks. I've tried Fair. like the, um, I've heard, especially with reapplication, you need like 30 swipes to actually get effective yeah, coverage. Yeah, you need a lot But again, of better, something's better than nothing. Right. Yes, yeah, so and I love them for reapplication. And I have this little UV camera. I wish I brought it, but like I can actually see where I've applied yeah, it. I've seen I have it. been I've seen okay it. with the sticks. This kind of reminds me of the Beauty of Joseon one. That's yes. that. Yeah, no, I like that one. We'll see if it mattifies. So there's like shine there. Yeah. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> it's nice. I do like sun sticks. Like one thing I will say, this is like, I had the Beauty of Josie on one. Sometimes that one can look a little chalky. Mm. So um, like the fact that this one is a little bit more smooth than the Beauty of Josie on one is actually nice. But I wear a lot of makeup. So usually I'm not reapplying my makeup with like a sunscreen stick. I'll usually go in with a spray, but even then that's not as effective as just wearing sunscreen, of course, or, like, like a lotion. But it works, right? Yeah. So when you're doing um, some of the sun sticks, if they turn out chalky, a spray just fixes them? Usually a spray is always like chemical and I've never experienced a spray sunscreen that uses a, like a like a physical filter. Oh. Versus there are some sun sticks that use like zinc oxide, like the, you know the zinc sticks? Like, oh those yeah. Are, those are white as like this, I mean, there's her. no way around that. Like, sir. I mean, I stay, I see zinc, anything in my opinion, like zinc stick. No, yeah, immediately no. Like, like, like I this one for, was straight up zinc, so that's yeah. probably why it didn't work. It literally left you purple. Yeah, love the, yeah. the idea, love the packaging, but not, you know, not brown yeah. girl dark skin friendly. <laughs> yeah, and saying it as it is, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of like face mists. I use the sun bum one, I like this one. My issues again, I have sensitive skin, but so I prefer looking for re application mists that don't have alcohol in it. But it's really mm -hmm. difficult to find one without alcohol that's also not greasy and has a high SPF. Unfortunately, this does have alcohol in it. But it does SPF, irritate you? It, it's slightly annoying, but like it is SPF 45. Okay. So this one's a high SPF. This one has no alcohol in it. This is the only one I could find with no alcohol. I dug the web, no alcohol, but it's SPF 15. Like how effic like efficacious is that? So fun fact, the good thing about SPF 15 is that even an SPF 15 or 20 protects about 93 to 98% mm -hmm. of the sun's rays. The issue is that you have to reapply it so often. It's like yeah, every two hours, one, every three hours. Yeah. And this one's also like reef friendly. Like I really like Kula yeah. for like a lot of reasons. Kula's great. Actually, this I one's SPF 18, stuff. alcohol free. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So that's, that's why this struggle. is the only one that I've found. Okay. So yeah. when it comes to all of the things, you're saying that as, you know, as someone who's looking for brown girl friendly stuff, Avoid anything that's overly heavy with zinc. It's mm -hmm. just not a good time. Mm -hmm. Try to find something that is either a hybrid or that is mineral. Um, you look for things that are maybe, oh, sorry, chemical. 
You mm -hmm. look for things that are maybe clear out the get-go. Mm -hmm. um, and you, like you said, you really have to try it. You really have to test it. You really have to put it in your own hand mm -hmm. to make sure that it's something that works. And that's also why I created like the Brown Girl Proof series, yeah. because I feel like it sucks, when, especially like when you like are saving up for like buying like, an some expensive products, product and then you like buy it and then it doesn't work for you. That happened to me like so much growing up. And now that that's also why like I've kind of dedicated my entire page. Like I try it so you don't have to waste your money. Kind of yes. <laughs> well, and if you want to watch that entire series, I will literally link her YouTube, her Instagram <laughs> and her TikTok. Need to Thank go follow you. her and check out that series. <laughs> and if you've tried any of these, let us know what your skin type, tone, texture is and whether or not you like it. Monica, thank you for all the insight. Thank you for having me. Yes. Well, we'll see Bye. you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.